You know, remind me of my father. Reminds you of your father. Yeah, but I'm trying to find a different word for that. Probably peaceful or sometimes beautiful. Or I could say love either way. My name is David, and that's the walking man. And he, he, he landed up there, he got eaten with a dinosaur. The dinosaur ate him? He eat, he eat the guy, but he didn't. But the time point will make him go down further into the house. He's so happy there. So he's traveling through time. Yes, he is. So he goes to the dinosaur time and he gets eaten. And then yes, he, he did. somehow gets to a house. <laughs> and then he gets to the house and then he goes all the way down to the bottom and see the devil. And that's hell. Why would he want to go there? It's bloody, gooey, bloody mess. But I, I like heaven. Yeah. Um, so you're one of the founding members of this place? Yeah. What do you do? You paint? Yeah. la da What is that, a baby? Baby doll. What do the colors represent? How do we do any kind of color? la da Oh, there's a naked one right there. It's a fish. It's a mermaid. It's a fish. It's got a tail on it. That's a girl. That's a fancy girl. I got the baby Jesus right there. I was going to finish that, but I didn't get around to it. You ever do that? No, I never have, but it's very creative. <laughs> There's a calm baby down. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that's really interesting. What is it? That's another way. That's another paint away. That's another thing. Oh, what does it say there? That's another way. That's, what's that? My name's Bobby. That's very interesting work. Is that yours? It's mine. And what is it? Painting. And how did you get, it's, it's three-dimensional. You've got yeah. numbers. How did you do that? Yeah. Bobby, you want to help me hold it up? Yes. Can you see what that is here? How did you get here? the numbers on there? Oh, no, you can't ask. Right. Here, we're going to hold up your painting for them so they can no. look at it, okay? Means no. No, well, you can't. Means no. Mean. Do you want me to not hold it up? Not hold it up. Here, yeah. look. What that go? I'm just going to put it like this. No, no, you can't go on people's work. Can you stand where I am and hold it like yeah. this? You cannot go on your work. Come over and just hold it like oh, that. No, you can't. Oh, you can't go on your work. Does it have a name? It's got a name. What's the name? Girls. How does it represent girls? Girls. Is it almost finished? It's finished. What's that? Fine. Can, can you show us something that you're painting? This. Very nice. And, and what is it? Is it flowers? Yeah. For springtime? Yeah. And what is that? I don't know. Okay. It looks like windows. Yeah, that's is what that, it is. Is that, it looks like it's raining. Is yeah. that rain? This is Harry Potter versus Sparkle Bobble. Who won? Uh, Harry Potter. He's right here. Uh, why? Why were they fighting? Because they were fighting because the president. Oh, they both wanted to be president. Yeah. And Harry Potter won. Yeah. Do you think Harry Potter would be a better president? Yes, he would. Why? Because he's a wizard. So he can do magic. Yes. What do you think Harry Potter would do differently than what Barack Obama is doing? Uh, push spells at people. That's a bird. This is a cat. And one of my friends, she moved into my house. She has a cat named Pepple. And That's Pepple. No, not Pepple. Pepple. Oh, Pepper. Yeah. One of my friends, her, she has a dog named Tucker. There he is. Yeah, he's my favorite dog. He's my favorite dog. It's my favorite dog. That's a band-aid. The bird got hurt. Uh, what and happened? the cat got hurt too. They got an operation. Well, how did it how did they, they get hurt? Uh the you know the bone in joints? Yeah. It hurts in the joints. And the bird got cut on the wire. On the wire? Yeah, like you know the fishing wire? Yeah. It got cut on it. And what about this? That's a band-aid for the cat. This is the band-aid for the cat? Yeah. Just a close-up. And this? That's for the bird. That's the band-aid for the bird? Yeah. 
So you did have close-ups. So a close-up. Yeah. And what's this one? That's a bird, an uh, 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 eagle. Oh, an eagle. Yeah, it got hurt. So it's in a cage? Yeah. How come all the, how come all the animals get hurt? I don't know. This is Super Gary. Super Gary? Yeah, Super Gary got his magical powers from God. Uh -huh. What are his powers? He eats a lot of broccoli and cauliflower. Are these people here? Uh, no, they're kind of like angels. Angels? Wow. Yeah. I live in a spiritual home called Lord Chicago. I'm going to be doing the newsletters and stuff. I get paid for 40 bucks. Wow. I also get paid for 40 dollars for doing the Christmas letters. Now you know about Jean Wilson. I live with her. Mm -hmm. Please come over to our house. Okay. Oh, good stuff. That's all green. Right, I'll do that. And does this one have a name? That's what the name is. <laughs> <laughs> This is the egg I got unmade. Is that Easter egg? I love Easter because you get candy. <laughs> what about Halloween? Uh, yeah, I used to go trick or treating at my mom and dad's in um, Algonquin. My brother's, his name is Charles, but his name is Lance. And he used to go trick or treating at our place. That's our old house we used to live in. He was adopted too, but I was adopted too. I missed you, um, brother. Are you watching this? Can you come back to me? Come on, please, brother. His name is Lance, but his name is Charles. This he's from InSync. InSync. Yeah, he's the band. from InSync. The band. Yeah, from InSync. I know Lance because he was at my mom mom's house in Gonquin. Why was he there? Uh, he was trick or treating with me. Uh, if you ever watch this, Lance, can you come back to me, please? I missed you. What, what is this you're working on now? <laughs> I'm working on for my, something for my sister because she's having a baby, and the baby's in it, and the son, son, the son and, uh, and this is the outside of the house. You sell your paintings? Yes, I do. Do you make a lot of money from them? Yes, I do. What do, you, what do you get to do with the money? Spend it. So how long have you been part of Arts of Life? I've been Arts of Life. Okay. What would you do without it? Well, if I do without it, I'd have to come here. You, would, you, would, you wouldn't be ha as happy without no. it? Not particularly. Great. How long have you been coming here? About three years. Three? And what did you do before? Talk. Just talk? Yeah. So you didn't get to paint in the other part. Uh, Do you have friends because of here? I have everybody. <laughs> wow. What are you working on? Aliens. How long have you been coming here? For a year. One year? What did you do before? I used to work in a very boring shelter workshop. Before you, Arts of Life, do you remember what you used to do during the day? Assembly. Oh, assembly of... of uh, what? different parts. And how long have you been working here at Arts of Life? Uh, I think three. Three years? Yeah. And what did you do before you work, uh, came here? Nothing really. Just had a, just stayed home during the day? Yeah, I just stayed home, watched a little TV, you know, relaxed. Yeah. Made myself some tea. Oh, before I go? Yes. Um, before I got started here, my mom was an artist. And my mom teach me everything that's going on around here in the studio. My mom was the best. Uh -huh. That's how I became to be an artist. So you're very happy here. I am so happy here. I feel like to dance and smile, break out a <laughs> smile. Well, you're doing that. Thank you very much. Thank you. No. It means no? Means no. Mm -hmm. How do you know when you're finished? Yes, I'm finished. 